Hey, welcome back to another action figure review in the Gundam Universe uh, toy line. This time we'll be looking at Wing Gundam from the Gundam Wing series, and I hope that wasn't too confusing. Uh, this was the first one I ordered, but the last to arrive, go figure. And so now uh, the boys are all here. I have the uh, uh, the five main Gundams from Gundam Wing, uh, not counting the, the the rebuilds after a few of them were destroyed and, and the enemies and so on and so forth. But a pretty impressive looking action figure, much more detail and articulation than the Gundam Infinity uh, version uh, of this character, or this mecha. And a uh, very impressive action figure. I'm really impressed with the Gundam Universe uh, action figure line as a whole. Not incredibly, over, uh, not overly expensive, about the same price as a G.I. Joe Classified or Star Wars Black Series figure, with a couple of exceptions. There's a couple I've got my eyes on that, for whatever reason, are, are sold at a much higher price point. Maybe they're exclusives in Japan. Uh, maybe they're just uh, rare chase variants. I don't know, but... Uh, just uh, keeping my eyes open for better deals on a, a couple of uh, of other uh, uh, figures from Gundam Wing uh, that do exist. So, this figure has some uh, uh, panel lining uh, detailing on it, unlike these others. Um, as you can see, there's the gold, little black down there in the gold uh, emblems on the uh, epaulets, as well as down here on the knees, there's a little panel lining. So that's pretty cool. Uh, as far as uh, uh, paint applications go, this is quite nice. Now, this one does not transform into the jet mode, and I wouldn't expect it to. The model kits uh, do that, but an, an action figure, I would expect it to be for sale at a much higher price point for a feature like that. But it does come with the shield, which serves as the nose cone uh, of the jet, and uh, that connects either directly onto the arm, or you can also connect this little piece down here and so he can hold it in his hand like an actual shield that's a little fiddly I just assume uh, put it there on his arm he also comes with the beam or the buster rifle or the beam cannon or whatever it's called that that's quite snug there on his hand that looks really really good now uh, articulation I want to start with the wings so let's turn around here unlike the Gundam Infinity version which would only do this this version the larger version has articulated uh, wings, uh, flaps, if you will. You know, they can spread out like this, and that's really, really cool. Or you can just put them back, you know, in non-flight mode, whatever you want to do. So, and they're on little ball socket joints, so you have this huge range of motion with them. Quite nice. Very, very nice. Otherwise, it's the same range of motion as most of these others, maybe even a little better in some areas. Head's great. Uh, arm's great. But we do have these little claws, these little talon claws that are actually part of the, um, uh, alternate mode, the the jet mode. Uh, those are on a, a little hinge right there, but you know you keep those back in in Gundam mode or in mobile suit mode. Uh, but good ranges of motion all around in the arms. Uh, superb here in the legs and in the feet. Quite nice actually. Very tight joints on this thing too. Uh, not overly tight, but it holds a pose quite well. I can't wait to put him in some sort of action pose along with his four other pals here. And uh, this completes the, uh, at least the uh, uh, the original five. Uh, three of them, this one, uh, uh, Shenlong and Death Scythe are, are destroyed or compromised throughout the series. And they get rebuilt as Wing Zero and uh, Altron and Death Scythe Hell. I'm sure they'll eventually produce these. Why wouldn't they? You know, fans of Gundam want those and they'll probably buy them. Uh, and then, we've, I've talked about this before, in Endless Waltz, uh, all five Gundams, for no good reason, were completely different as far as the the way they they looked, their colors, the uh, the the, uh, the designs, just completely different. Like, awesome, they're, they're totally awesome, especially this one and Death Side because they have the giant wings. Uh, and the the uh, Endless Waltz version of Wing Zero does exist, but like I said at the beginning, it's it's for sale at a much higher price point than all these others. So I'm I'm just going to be patient and try to find this for. What, what these retail for, we'll just have to see about that. I, I don't know why they're so exclusive and rare and more expensive, but uh, very, very impressive figure, pals. It displays quite nicely. Not as much articulation or uh, action features as the um, uh, 1 100 scale model kits. Also, it doesn't come with a beam saber, 
which I think is a huge missed opportunity. A, a Gundam without a beam saber, they, at least the main Gundams, that's that's weird. I, I, w I can't imagine why it didn't come with one. But um, because, you know, Shenlong came with the beam glaive and Death Scythe came with the beam side, so I'm not really sure why they wouldn't have packaged the beam saber uh, in with the uh, wing Gundam, but that's... That's that's okay. Otherwise, just a superb action figure. Be careful with the uh, crest. Very sharp points on it and a very rigid plastic. Uh, I don't know if it's durable. I don't know if it's going to survive a fall directly on those. I wouldn't chance it. Uh, but uh, these are recommended for ages 15 and up. So, you know, that, the, the Infinity figures, the smaller scale, those are for kids. And these are for... Uh, Older kids and adults, I think, is the way that uh, you would classify that. But I think uh, these are going to look terrific on display. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put them. I'm running out of room in Studio B already, and you'll find out why later on. Uh, but uh, maybe they'll stay up here in Studio A for a while. Uh, they're, they're fun to look at. They're fun to pose. They're fun to play with, pal. And a uh, very substantial weight to these. Uh, very well put together. Uh, I, I have no... Uh, I have no uh, issues with the manufacturer whatsoever with these. These are just very, very nice action figures. I'm sort of giving you an overall review of the entire uh, line here. I'll eventually put him in a better pose than this, but we're going to sit him down here. Well balanced, too. I mean, you don't have, these don't need stands. You can get stands uh, that you can uh, add an additional part to them, I think up the crotch or something, and uh, put them on those stands that will sus suspend them from the, in, in midair. That's cool. But uh, that's nothing I'm interested in. And you also have some different hand options. Open hands or closed fists. And those are easy to swap out. So there you go, pals. That's a Wing Gundam. And have a look here. We'll get the box out of the way. Now have a look at the entire uh, main cast of Gundam Wing there. And I think that's really, that's going to look great on display. Now, th like I said, there's others. As, there's several other figures in this line from different eras of Gundam. Uh, the RX-78, uh, the RX-79, I believe, Strike Gundam, I think Barbados, Unicorn Gundam. A lot of the same Gundams you see in the um, Infinity line are also part of the Universe line, the larger scale Universe line. Uh, but as far as the Gundam Wing series, uh, there's a, a new Leo figure on pre-order right now. And, of course, Tall Geese exists, but just like Wing Zero Custom from Endless Waltz, it's it's for sale at a much higher price point, and I don't know why. I'm still trying to figure that out. If you know why, let me know. Um, but uh, otherwise, great action figure line. Really dig these. Okay. Well, pals, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you again soon.